Welcome back to Zacus. Today we're going to do an install of a Google Nest thermostat. Now I had this installed with my house. It just came with it. it was a, it's a Honeywell uh, Z-Wave, speaker Z-Wave, speak Z-Wave or something like that. I think it's an automated low-end uh, thermostat. It did fine. It's got some cool stuff on it. But I wanted to Nest. My elect electric company gives me a discount and um, it's just very cool. It's easier to control. I have Alexa. I now have Google Home, and I just wanted a, a way to easily control uh, all my all my stuff, especially when I'm traveling and stuff like that. So I'm going to really quickly show you how to install this, and then uh, I also have an open box if you're interested in seeing that, both of the black and the stainless. And if you have any questions, comment below. And here we go. So they give you a. Uh, the, the standard, really nice, clean way to connect your wires in. And then they give you two screws, which you'll see in the open box video. And we're just going to wire it all together and then do the install. It's very quick, very simple, super easy. Run through the hole. Feel free to standard electrician wires go through. It even has a leveler built in, so you can get that nice and level. I have my handy Dewalt. Not that I'm plugging them because there's some really great uh, other ones out there, but this is the one I'm going to use. Just going to make sure that bubble's right in the middle. Push in. You don't have to get it too tight. You don't want it to bend or break the sheetrock. You just want it nice and snug so it's not moving around. It's not going anywhere. Once the wires are attached, you'll see it's pretty, pretty snug in there. Nest does give you this little handy tool. It's a flathead that switches over and can become a Phillips. I like to use it uh, sometimes for the wires. And when you push on these things, let the wires in, sometimes it can help. Um, yours should be pretty similar. I've noticed sometimes that most people may not have a black wire and some people have an orange wire. You can Google this, but um, for, my, for my install, both upstairs and downstairs, uh, the yellow, white, blue, black is more like a neutral ground. You have your red wire and then your green wire. One of the ways to know is these stay down. So if it's popped up, I don't know if you can see that, but if that's popped up, if the wire is not in there good. I'm going to push this up though so I can get this red in here. Don't worry, I'll show you guys a picture of this. Nice, clean, clear picture. So you'll better see it. I have a drill gun. You can drill it into the wall. Works great. I would suggest if you have a different configuration, that you just Google it. Uh, there's a lot of information on what each wire is. The minute we connect this up, Google will tell us what the colors mean. And that is very cool. I'm going to tell you what the wires mean right here so you don't have to Google it. And I'm going to show you a picture of it. So the yellow is your cooling system. You may not have this if you live in an area that you don't have an air conditioner. The green one is your fan. This is USA normal standard. Your white is your heat. So if you live in a climate that doesn't need a heater, you may not have this one. Or you may only have this one. Uh, the blue is a common wire. Google doesn't even recognize this one. Um, I've looked it up though, it's a ground wire. So it just goes in the star. And red is your power. Now some people need red C and some people need red H. From what I've read, it doesn't really matter. And some people will have separate systems or maybe dual systems so you'll have two red wires so you'll put one here and one here and that will power your fan and your cooling system and then this red one will will power your heating system and we have the final stage now i opted for stainless because my house has stainless steel appliances it just has a classy look to me but there is a black version and I have a black unboxing that you can see that may work better for you. So here we go. Let's do the final step of installing this to the wall. 
it just snaps on very easily. Push it down a little bit. Make sure it's in there good. The green light starts flashing and you know you have power because it is on. Now I'm going to remove this. This is the first thing that comes up after you see the home icon which you just saw. Now we're just going to click it down to the US English because we're in America. Confirm. Touch it except maybe to dial the temperature up and down manually if you want to but I rarely ever touch mine and I've only had it a week. Start scrolling through what number you're in. This is really nice because it gives you the ability to choose uh, if you're in a condo, an apartment, a business. Another vital step is choosing where it is so that when it's learning and when it's doing away and eco, um, it'll know kind of what is what it's being used for where and what kind of room it is so I'm going to choose upstairs because it just runs the entire upstairs it is a heating and cooling this is a nice cool feature if you are a pro you can just flip to pro I'm not so I want to go to homeowner because I'm installing it myself and this is what I was telling you about it immediately recognizes what's connected, equipment detected, make sure that everything is good to go, and then continue. So I have a heating, cooling, and a fan, so I'm good to go there. My heating is gas. They also is oil, propane, and I don't know. That's pretty cool. Temperature. Right now it's still warm outside here. In the south, so for some of you who are already in the colder weather, you can go ahead and choose heating. This is just what your nest should begin with, and I'm going to do cooling. This is what your thermostat range is for like if you never touch it, if you're gone for like a month. What's the lowest? How cold can it get in your house before it needs to kick the heat on? How hot can it get in your house before it kicks the heat on? So I'm going to turn this to 50. I don't want it to get colder than 50 degrees in the house. And I'm going to turn this to, let's say 85. I don't want it to get hotter than 85 in the house. You can adjust that at any time in the app, online, or on the thermostat. So don't feel like you're stuck in it. It's very easy on the app to just change, um, especially if you're going to be away for six months or three months or a long vacation or holiday. Um, feel free to adjust this anytime. Like I said, I haven't touched my physical thermostat in a while because Alexa, the app, both give me great easy access to adjust the temperature. Plus, it's already learned pretty much what I like. And even around 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night when I'm headed to bed, it already cools it down to what I normally like it to be. So I'm going to do a system test. Nest is now configured for your system. Continue. I'm going to test now. I would like to test the cooling. Testing cooling. Air condition should be on. Check the vents. I heard it kick on. I can feel it, so I'm going to say done. The air conditioner has been turned off. Continue. I'm done with my test. So we've gone through all the steps to set this up. It's taken about maybe 10 minutes uh, to set this this part up maybe 20 minutes altogether 
Not bad at all, quick finish. And voila! Now this is what it is currently in the room. I haven't had uh, this installed because they were doing some painting here to make it look better. And so it's actually 79 degrees upstairs and it's set for 75, which is what I want. In about four minutes, after it gets everything configured, it's right now it's doing a lot of tests and stuff, setting everything up, it will kick on and cool down to 75 and maintain that. I really wanted something just simple and stunning and this just was it for me. So I hope you enjoy it. Now this will not stay on. If I walk away, this will turn black to save the screen, save the energy. And anytime you walk by it, it'll come on. And it also has an option in the app that you can set it so it knows when your phone is in your, in your home and around your home, around your thermostats, so that it can adjust the temperature based on when you're home. Uh, not just by the sensor here walking by it, but also by your phone knowing you're in the house and you'd like it cooler or hotter. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video of Nest thermostat being installed and I hope it helps you out. I hope you get one and I hope you enjoy it. It's very easy to install, very quick, and you'll never regret it. I love mine. If you do have an electric company that participates and will give you a credit on your bill, such as CoServe that gives me a hundred dollar credit per Nest up to two, you can simply go online and sign up for that and they will uh, enroll you and apply the credit to your electric bill. I see. Just wanted to show you guys that. Enjoy. Have a great day. And please be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching another Zacchaeus video.